All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Minecraft Command series. Today we're going to be going over a newer command. There's not really much on this online, so there's not really much you can do with it currently, but I'm going to go over it anyway. Um, so it's very new, so I'm assuming if you log on or go on the um, internet or something and type in like music command, uh, like examples or something like that. Um, eventually there'll be probably more um, videos and websites and stuff expressing like how you can do different, you know, uh, things that you can play with it. But um, yeah, we're gonna go over the basic stuff because clearly <laughs> it's a very new command and there's not really much on it. So we're gonna do slash music. As you can see right here, it says allows you to control playing music tracks. Um, now, I'm pretty sure I mightn't be able to hear it because um, my music is currently set all the way down uh, right here. Uh, where is it? Audio. There it is. So I'll turn my music up just a little bit uh, for this episode. Um, just that it doesn't annoy us. <laughs> just enough. Um, so there we go. We've got music and then we have different values. So we have play, cue, stop and volume. So we're going to do the play one first, and uh, we're going to do play, and it'll ask you for a track name. So because it's very new, this command, and obviously at least new to Bedrock, there's not really much that you can do with it apart from playing things like discs. Um, so an example would obviously be the cat disc. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a record... Uh, like that, and then dot, and then we're going to do, let's just do pig step. Because that is a music disc. Okay, and then if we do that, you're going to hear that it starts playing that right there. Now, because it's getting on my nerves and I don't really like it anymore, I can do music slash stop um, right there. And it'll stop all of the music. Now, I can actually do multiple of these. Oh, no, you can't. I th you can do that with the um, play sound command, but clearly not with this one. You can only do one at a time, so that's a good point that I've just made there, is you can only do one at a time um, with this command. Um, so, some additional values here is after you have the track name string, we also have volume, so it's a floating number. So we can make a 10, and it'll be very loud. There'll also be fade seconds, so how long it will actually fade in and fade out of the song. So we're going to make it very obvious, and we're going to do it with five seconds, and repeat mode. So we can actually either make it play once and it stops, or make it so it loops over and over and over again, um, co constantly. So we're going to essentially have it so it constantly plays this thing. So I'm going to have it on a uh, loop, even though I'm not going to make it play for that long, but, you know. Uh, okay, so... You've in a 10 is too big, it must be at least one. Okay, so this one has to be at at the most one. And uh, clearly one is... Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> I'll tell you why I couldn't hear that there. It's because we have a five second fade time. We made this one as well. There you go. You can kind of hear a bit of a fade there before it starts going into the um, actual song. So, yeah, a pretty interesting command overall. Now, there are two other values as well, and we're going to have uh, volume, um, and this just sets the basic volume for this. I believe if we put five... No, okay, no. Um, it's a little bit different to the place down command. I don't really know too much about it, but you can set um, the volume to either one. I believe you can set it to, like, 0.5 or something like that, probably. Uh, 0 0.5, you can probably set it to. Yeah, there you go. Um, so essentially, all music that is currently playing, let's just do this right here. So play that right there. You can see it's quieter. If we make it so it's go back to one, you can see it just got a little bit louder there. Um, so you can essentially remotely control the volume of the things playing with that command. Now we have the queue command. So we can actually queue other tracks after the one that we currently have. So we're gonna have the uh, this one playing. Then we're gonna do slash music, music, and then cue. 
Then we're going to do record. And we'll do record 13. Oh. Is that not a record? <laughs> we'll do stall, because that's the one that I've got on my little sheet here. That worked. Uh, so just like that. So record stall has been queued, and it will start playing when the current track stops. So it literally just gave you a message right there. So essentially when this track right here stops, then stall will start playing. So a pretty interesting thing. Now obviously if you have that first one on loop, which is what I had right here, the second one will never play because it's on loop, this first one. So um, obviously you don't want to have that. That's obviously a big thing that you don't want to have. Um, that is like, that's like really far away, but I can still hear it. Um, but uh, yeah, that's basically it for this command. There's not really much else I can go over, and it's obviously very new as well. Um, so there's not a lot of things you can do with it. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.